Hey guys, so I already did my eyebrows using this BH Studio Pro palette and then of course going in with the fave, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just going to use this as an eyeshadow primer, so I'm just blending it out with my finger. Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm going to go into that lightest shade and just set down the concealer. You can use any palette for this, but the palette that I'm using today is the Jaclyn Hill Palette and it doesn't really have any light matte shades. So to start off, I'm going to go in with that shade right there which is called silk cream and I'm just gonna use that with a very small kind of blending brush and just blend it in the crease line and build it up slowly then I'm gonna go into butter <laughs> and just dust that on my whole entire lid and just build it up slowly again until I get that shade that I'm looking for now I'm gonna go into this black shade abyss and this is honestly my favorite black shade so I didn't notice, but I didn't even record this next step here. So I'm just going to explain it to you really quick. All I did was get something with a straight edge. You can use tape if you want. I like to use this little piece of cardboard. Um, and I put it against where I want the wing to be. And then I just blend it in and make a wing. And that's it, guys. It's so easy. Really, it's so easy and it's so beautiful. Course, I gotta wipe away the edges and then to start on the face I'm gonna use this primer this is the first time I ever used it it's the Milani make it last prime and setting spray and it smells so good and it's so amazing now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation and this is the first time I ever tried this foundation I'm going in with the shade 110 porcelain and girl this is full coverage like it is not playing around and I know it looks very white but these days I'm very freaking pale like it, there's nothing I can do about it I've just been so white to match my neck I had to get a really white foundation but that's okay there's nothing a little bronzer can't fix for concealer you already know going in with the same thing I always use putting that under the eyes and the bridge of the nose forehead and any area that I think I need some and just blend it out now to add some color into my face I'm gonna be using the temp 2 shimmer bronzer I'm gonna use this to subtly contour and bronze up a little Now for the nose, I'm going to use the same product, just going to use a smaller brush to blend it out. To finish off with my nose, I like to just tap it in with my fingers a little and blend it in because I feel like it makes it a little bit more natural looking. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting Powder. I'm going to get a good amount of powder and set my under eye area and then I'm going to use a larger brush to set my whole face. Now I'm going to go in with my all-time favorite, the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer, which I depotted and put in the C palette. And I'm just going to use it to add some more bronze glowiness to the face. For, flush, I'm, for, flush, <laughs> for blush, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade Coral. And I love blush so much because it adds so much life back to the face. Now I'm going to use this Rose Gold Highlighter by Vintage and I'm going to use this kind of as a blush topper to just add some more glowiness to the face. For a little bit more highlight, I'm going to be using the Incandescent Strobe Light by Hourglass. Now to prep the lash, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tardiest Mascara. And then I'm going to be applying some falsies. On the lower lash line, I'm going to use both silk cream and butter. The same two shades I used on my lid. And just going to blend that out. 
and then I'm gonna smoke out some of the black that I used. Now using the first shade in light, I'm gonna use that to highlight the brow bone. And of course, I didn't notice that my brush was super dirty. Oops. Anyways, I'm just gonna blend that in and then also highlight my inner corners using the same shade. Now to set everything into place, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. To finish off, I'm gonna be using the Patrick Star and MAC lipstick. And this is in the shade She Better Work. I know I sound like a white girl saying it, but hey guys, it is what it is. So that's it, that completes this super easy glammed up look. If you're not that good with eyeshadow and you're trying to get glammed up one day, this look is for you. It's so easy and it looks amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!